Hello and welcome to another Minidisc video. In this video I'm going to explain how I got into Minidiscs. And it first started when I got my audio cassettes out of my loft and wanted something to play them on. So I went onto eBay and Sony was the ultimate brand to own back in the day, but I couldn't afford it. So I bought myself this basic cassette player and it did a great job. I was listening to my music while I was walking around the house and even going out for a walk. But it was not very good for when I was in the office, it would fall out of my pocket. So I went back on eBay and decided to look on YouTube for videos about um, home systems rather than portable systems. And I found Techmoan's channel and he was going, he was showing videos about cassette players. And there's particular ones I liked were the ones with the draw system that came out to put your cassettes in and had auto reverse. So this is the one that I decided to buy from eBay. It's a Pioneer one. And it's got a lovely display on it. This is a remote control, which you can take off and it's infrared. And you can do most of the functions using this. And it had, my main requirement was a draw mechanism like that. And it would play the tapes forward and when it got to the end or when I wanted to switch sides, you could just press a button or it would automatically reverse and go in the other direction. The only problem with it was it had um, a bass speaker where the foam on the cone had perished and it had virtually no bass on it. So it wasn't great. But what it did have was this slot, a mini disc slot. And I've never, I don't remember mini discs at all from back in the day. But what I did was I went back on YouTube and looked for some mini disc videos. And yet again, Techmoan was the one that came up with this brilliant documentary about uh, mini discs, which I'll link to in the card above. So I ended up buying a few mini discs to play on here and see how they worked and record a few from CD because it has a CD player at the bottom. And then I ended up buying a portable player and more mini discs. And here we are today with lots of mini discs, lots of players and a YouTube video about them. But the problem still remained that this one did not have very good sound on it. And I decided to look around for a better system that would have better sound. And that's why this one is sitting on my desk now, shortly to be retired under the desk to be replaced by my new system. So for this one, the time is up and I'll be doing a video soon about the new system. So thanks for watching.